Jimmy Rogers is why we're all here. It's great to be here, second anniversary of his passing. You know, it was important for us to get in here and get a vibe and get a feel. I was walking up those stairs at the wreck and I could hear his voice already. Jimmy means a lot in this community. Uh, for me personally, he's a guy who took me into basketball. Uh, we came here, set up this club here in 1986, courtesy of uh, Michael Jordan and, uh, and the guys helping us launch that club. And we've just been sharing some of those stories out there with a lot of the alumni. And it's just great to come here and see that the vibe is living on. The youngsters, doesn't matter how old you are, boy, girl, six, seven, eight, you know, all the gangly men here, 13 year olds bigger than me. Jimmy would be so proud. Jimmy Rogers was everything to us growing up, especially here in South London. He was the godfather of basketball for a lot of people. And when I came, I was quite young, but uh, I, was, I was experienced enough, and uh, he thought I could play on the 16s, on the 18s, and men. So before anything, even though he taught us hard work, he taught us how to believe in ourselves, and he instilled us, you know, that thing into us. And the saying back then was always like, if you can play in Brixton, you can play anywhere. And like, that carried out for a lot of generations. And I took that deep, and that's why my career has gone where, where it's gone, and I, I thank Thank Jimmy for it. Jimmy Rogers to me was a man that guided a lot of young men to, to personal development, personal growth. Um, he instilled discipline, maturity, and a lot of unique personality traits that we needed as, as young black men in the community and we were able to live from. I think we, we grew up without knowing um, so many different lessons taught to us these lessons kind of carried out throughout life. Uh, we'll see it in whether we ended up being basketball players or we ended up being ex top cat alumni, end up being barristers, end up being politicians, end up being whatever it may be, all different walks of life, doctors, lawyers, whatever it may be. Jimmy for me, just a big inspiration. Obviously an inspiration when I was a kid. Um, Treated everyone, no matter what your background was, didn't matter if you were six foot five, but in my case, five foot five, he gave you that, that inspiration, that belief that you could go on and do something in the game. I think probably more importantly, Jimmy continues to be an inspiration because even some of his teachings that he gave me when I was here on the basketball court, I've translated to other areas of my life and been successful. Jimmy Rogers to me um, was pretty much everything really, you know. From the age of seven, eight years old, he was a, a staple in my life, a pillar, um, a mentor, father figure, um, coach, a friend, someone that I reached out to when times were hard, someone that I came to for advice. Um, you know, for me it was, it was everything. And not only me, you know, all the people at Brixton Top Cats, he was so much to us, you know. Um, obviously, he's coming up for two years, since his passing, um, tough time for us, you know. I'm sure a lot of us are going to be emotional, but you know, at the same time, we have to give thanks and just, you know, cherish all the moments that we have with Jimmy. Um, you know, he meant so much to the Brixton community, you know, South London basketball, to London basketball, to the UK basketball. Um, someone that was loved worldwide, and you know, we miss him, you know, a lot. You know, we really, really miss the guy. So, you know, we're just here. You know, like always, come down to the rec, spend time with the kids and, you know, all of us kind of have that, that voice in our, in our head when we walk in, you know, hearing Jimmy's voice. Um, so yeah, you know, Jimmy, you know, we love you, man. <laughs>